So President Trump is now at the point where he's arguing against his own impeachment. Here he is on Fox News. You know, I guess it says something like high crimes and all. I don't, I don't know how you can impeach somebody who's done a great job. I'll tell you what, if I ever got impeached, I think the market would crash. I think everybody would be very poor because without this thinking, uh, you, would see, you would see numbers that you wouldn't believe in reverse. The way he, he uh, phrased that is pretty funny. <laughs> you would see numbers like you've never seen in reverse. It's like he wanted to say, oh, everything would tank, but he couldn't figure out the words for it. And he thought it sounded positive for a second, so he's like, in reverse. I meant numbers you've never seen, but in, in the bad direction. In the wrong direction. Wrong. So, um, there's a bunch of stuff to say about this. First of all, it's noteworthy that he's at the point where he's literally arguing against his own impeachment. Because, um, he, I, I think that means he feels like his... His time may be up soon. Which is wild. Now, again, we just spoke about this in the previous segment, but Trump's CFO has now made a deal and he's been granted immunity. So that means Trump's CFO is going to say something. I think the ve at the very least, he talks about the Stormy Daniels situation and the payment with campaign money, in which case that doesn't reflect good on Trump because it's an admission that Donald Trump broke the law and used campaign money to pay off a porn star that he had an affair with. That's the best case scenario is that that happens to Trump. The worst case scenario is, oh, this dude who's been doing Trump's books forever comes out and it details all of the ways in which Donald Trump has been violating the law. And there are many. I mean, the guy went bank, his businesses went bankrupt six times, but somehow he's still rich. How do you think that happens? If you go bankrupt six times, you're not rich. Unless there's some dirty money propping you up. And then there has been reporting that in his Panama Hotel, for example, they were laundering dirty money. So I don't doubt for a second that he's got some creepy financial shit going on. Money laundering, probably. Um, high financial crimes, no doubt. So that's the worst case scenario for Trump. So I think Trump on some level knows it's either going to be the Stormy Daniels thing, which they could try to bring me down over, or it could be worse than that. And it's all my actual crimes, my bigger crimes, which they could try to take me down over. Again, I don't know if the Republicans would impeach, even given a worst case scenario. But he knows he's in trouble. So he feels the need to talk about his impeachment and to argue against it. Now, having said that, what he's saying has zero substance, <laughs> unsurprisingly. He's like, oh, the market would tank if I... Well, okay, there is a grain of truth in that. It is possible that because of the political turmoil, the market would tank. But it wouldn't be because you specifically are being, you know, taken out of office or there would be proceedings against you. No, because any generic president in that position where something like that is happening to that president, there would be a market reaction. Now... The thing is, you almost don't want to see that happen because then you're giving Trump an argument. It's a bullshit argument, but you're giving him a point that he can keep making. Oh, see, everything was going great until you tried to take me down. Everything was going great until you tried to take me down. And now that you're taking me down, the market's tanking. And if you just didn't do that, the market would have kept going up forever while I was in control. Believe me, let me just tell you. See, that's the thing, is don't give him an out. Don't give him an argument. Um... We know the market's going to crash at some point. 100%. We are in a giant bubble. A gi and the crash is going to be just as bad as 2008, if not worse, when it does happen. We have not learned the lessons. We have not re-regulated Wall Street. We are not doing sustainable growth by any stretch of the imagination. Wages are down. So the market's going to crash. It would be better if he's just leaving office when that happens. And so then, you know, you get Bernie running on New Deal style programs. He gets elected. He uh, fixes the economy and moves us in the right direction. That's the ideal scenario. What you don't want is him to be able to pin it on. It's because you're taking me down. I w when I'm in there, the market does well. Now you're trying to take me down. The market's doing poorly. You do the math because that's what he'll say. And it's bullshit, but that's what he'll say. And a lot of people will believe it, which is crazy. But that's what's going to happen. So that's interesting. And then also... Listen, it's also just bullshit, this idea of like, oh, 
everybody's doing great, and everybody would be poor if I if I left office. Hey, asshole, wages are down under your administration. That's, he, they'd never acknowledge that. You know what's up? Corporate profits. You know what's up? Uh, the amount of income the top 1% are making. That's what's up. Corporate profits are up, and the rich are doing absolutely fantastic right now. That's who's doing well. Regular people are not doing well. Three million people just lost health insurance under your first year as president. 93,000 jobs were outsourced by the guy who said he's against outsourcing and he's going to keep your job in the country. Wages are down. All the, the unemployment rate ticking down is all because people are taking low-wage jobs. Nothing to cheer. So this idea of like, oh yeah, it's just... Uh, everybody would be poor if I left. Everybody's poor right now! 76% of the country lives paycheck to paycheck. Half of workers in America make $30,000 a year or less. So it's just, he's, he's bullshitting, he's doing what he does best. Oh yeah, some, oh my god, if they come after me, that'd be so bad, it'd be bad for the market, it'd be bad for everybody, it'd be terrible. And again, he's saying all this stuff because he's like, fuck, my time may be up soon.